Hi everybody, this is the setting for Orange and Blue, arranged by Power Ricks of the Phoenix Pipe Band, originally written by Gordon Brown. This is going to be for the Phoenix Highland Games coming up uh, in March. We've been invited to play for the mass bands, so along with our normal mass band settings that we'll be doing uh, with everybody else, we, the band has also been asked to play, uh, all the bands together have been asked to play Orange and Blue while the Highland dancers are dancing. So this is a Strathspey, it's a type of tune that's specifically geared towards Highland dancing. Uh, it should be a pretty interesting uh, thing. I know myself, I haven't seen this done before with dancers and, and all, but it should be good. So a Strathspey, because it's for the dancing, has a very lifted feel to it, very upbeat feel, which I think you'll catch on to. Go ahead and YouTube the actual tune, the pipe tune, so you can get a sense of how that sounds. Uh, so I, we have the snare setting here. As soon as I have something for tenor and bass, I'll get it out to you. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go through this. Very simple, two lines. You'll notice that there are, there are unisons or chips or seconds, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so if we look at both lines, we notice that the, the chips are exactly the same for both lines. It's measures two and four. Measures two and four are exactly the same, line one to line two. So that's really simple. Makes it easy for you. There's nothing complex in here. There's nothing in here that we haven't played in some other setting that we do. Uh, so this shouldn't be terribly challenging. We're going to go through the first line, so you'll notice that each line is repeated. So it's line one, that's the chips, and then repeated with all play. Line two, chips, repeated with all play. At the games, Kyle will more than likely be the lead stroke, so he'll be doing the, the, the lead. All the rest of us will be doing the chips, and then the all play on the repeat of each line. So let's uh, go through it kind of nice and easy here. We can see bar one is... Uh, we've got flam, five stroke flam, triple lit flam. And they're all right handed flams. So go ahead and do that one along with me. One, two. One, two. And as you recall, when we do a five stroke roll, we make two motions. With our hands set up properly, motion number one is the buzzes, motion number two is the tap. So it's, and we can just let the sticks fall into it. So let's take that bar one again. One, two. All right, so then we go into the first unison, which is a sextuplet, a triplet, a flam, and a full count roll. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Just like that. So let's do that together. One, two. take a look at that bar, you'll notice that on that sextuplet, you notice the right hand, the notes above the line, is a triplet, the same pace as the triplet that follows it. So if I play just the right hand of that sextuplet, and then I play the triplet, it's triple, triple, it's the same pace. So when we put in the left hand, then it's it's just exactly the double amount. So that triplet is sitting right inside of, of the notes, if that makes sense. So let's do that again. One, two. One, two. And when we look to the second bar, or excuse me, the third bar, looks a whole lot like the first one, doesn't it? So we come out of that roll. the same as the first bar. So this is easy already. Okay, last bar. Uh, again, this is unison. So you've got the flam triplet, the flam, the wee tap, and then the full count roll. Let's do that together. And, it's a, and it starts with a right flam, and then the second one is a left flam. Ready, play. Ready, play. Time, ready, play. All right, so now I'm going to play through the first line as if I'm the lead. You'll play the chips, and then on the second time through, we're going to play it all together. And that's how it'll go on the day. Ready, play.
that's how that goes when it's all together. The second line, you've already learned bars two and four, exactly the same as the top. And if you take a look at it, you can see you've just got that full count roll and some wee taps. Uh, so that first measure, if we take the pickup note that's coming out of the end of line one, at the end of line one is that little 16. That's the pickup into the beginning of line two. So let's start with that, with that pickup note. And it sounds, so bar one with the pickup note sounds like this. And then we go into the sextuplet. So let's do that together. Ready, play. Ready, play. And then we got the same uh, second measure. Now you'll notice going into the third measure, we've got a tapped roll. So we have two full count rolls back to back. So it's just like that. So that little accent note or that greater than symbol is telling you that that right hand needs to be accented with that tap. So that's how we come out of that roll or out of that measure. So let's do bar two, our sextuplet, which starts with the, the 16th note coming out of bar one. And we're gonna go through that tap roll to the second count or the second beat uh, of that measure of beat three, measure three. <laughs> okay, you'll get it. All right, and play. give everything its proper due in time. So when we look at that measure, the sextuplet is one quarter note, the triplet is another quarter note, the flam is a quarter note, and then beat four, that quarter note, beginning that roll. Make sure everything gets the right amount of time, and so we're not just going. Okay, so just pay attention to that. All right, so then bar three of the second line, if we, if we just did that tapped roll, then it just takes one more of the wee tap and the full count roll. And then bar four is exactly the same as the line above. So let's do this uh, together. So I'm gonna play as if I'm the lead. You'll come in for the chips of measures two and four, and then we'll do the whole line together. Ready, play. for us. 